So you can definitely see the difference. Really lightweight, really, really comfortable. Hey guys, welcome to Bella Lash Brow's YouTube channel. My name is Debbie Cotty, proud founder of Bella Lash Brow. We specialize in making eyelash extensions and semi-permanent eyebrows look natural. We also provide accredited training courses to help women start their own beauty business. Now this channel is to share my knowledge on everything lashes and brows and share some tips and tricks that have helped me over the years. This video in particular, however, is to help lash technicians think of a way to make some money during this lockdown. If of course you are in tier five, it does mean we cannot work, our businesses are closed, but fear not because I think I've got the answer for you. Our clients at home are wishing they had some lash extensions in. I've just tried some DIY lash extensions. I'm very, very impressed actually at how they look. They look really, really good, really natural. And so I thought I would share my experience. Everything I use today will be from Lash Base. If you guys have been following me, you know how much I love this brand. Lash Base are amazing. We use a lot of their lash lifting products, but today I'm going to be showing you their DIY Pro Effect lashes. Guys, I am in awe. Now, of course, we're experienced as lash technicians. However, what I find with these lashes, they're really, really easy to do. They took me about half an hour, 30 to 40 minutes, and that's because I was quite new to them, but it's it's really really quick and easy if you're watching this video around the date of posting then it does mean that lash base are still offering these new products without a minimum order quantity requirement so i'm going to be showing you in this video exactly how it was for me to put them on and then at the end of the video i'm going to let you know why i think this is such a great idea and how you can make some money so let's get into the video and see how quick and easy these were to do. So this is the box that it came in. So let's open it up and see what's inside. You can see at the top there, it says, welcome to hashtag team lash base. Of course we have our lashes. I did get several packs because they do come in different lengths and I wasn't quite sure what length I'd need. So you can see that it it shows the lengths on the side there. Next up, of course, we have our glue. So this is the Pro Effect Lash Bond, which is really nice and cute. And then finally, we have our tweezers. This is our lash applicator. This is what we will use to pick up the lashes and place them on and that's it these are the three items that we need we probably won't even need all those lashes but like i said i didn't really know what length i'd need so we've got the lashes we've got the lash applicator and we've got our glue so i'm just going to show you the lash bond first this is so cute guys it's a very slim wand it's a mascara wand and you actually will apply it just like mascara so let me just show you my natural lashes as you can see i hardly have any they are very straight very short and very sparse okay so i'm gonna do i think 11s on the ends uh i'm gonna go for a dolly eyed look so 11s on the ends and then 12s in the middle we'll see okay so a little bit too much glue there okay nice oh i would have liked to go a bit shorter in the ends but it's cute pretty 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 so that is kind of like how it looks So, I get the lash ready first. 
I'm gonna do the same as I did here, even though I wish I started a little bit longer. Well, we're gonna just do the same as the other eye, but I would have styled it a bit differently if I was to do it again. So I'm gonna get a 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go here. So you put it on, but when it says thin layer, guys, it literally does mean thin layer. So I was gonna do it right at the end. So, so you can see that that's all you need and then you kind of just want it to sit right under the natural lashes and I'll hold that down for a bit and then boom it's on guys it's on I do leave a slight gap of course then I'm gonna so I'm gonna work in sections so again I'm just gonna Put some onto the next lashes, especially the base. I'm gonna do 11. I'm hoping you can see that. But what I did is I just overlapped it onto this one just a little tiny bit. And then I do use my finger to kind of push it up. If you find like you've got some glue bits, get a comb. We get in there. Trust the process. Trust the process. to clean up literally guys this is just a water wipe it just comes off so quickly which is very impressive and you can brush them so you can see that that was really quick and easy and it didn't get sticky, it didn't get messy. I think they look really, really, really good. I'm so, so impressed. I'm so happy. They feel really light and comfortable. And I think this is just a fantastic way to be able to sell onto your clients. So here are my top three takeaways from this video for you to consider. Takeaway number one. If you're a lash technician, you're thinking, how can I make some money during this time? Retailing DIY products during this time is fantastic. And the best way to do this is to use your social media. Instagram stories is a fantastic way to show how easy these lash extensions are to put on. You're able to film yourself putting these lashes on on your Instagram story. Takeaway number two. Another thing you want to consider is definitely how are you going to let your client base know. Now, of course, Instagram stories is great, but that's only for those that click onto your Instagram story. You might want to consider sending out a mass email. Go into your database and this is the time to use that marketing tool. Sending out a mass email to every single client in your database will let them know that actually you do have a solution for them and the solution to their issue of not getting their lash extensions done is that they can do their own lashes at home. Of course, if you don't want to film yourself using the lash extensions, you might just want to uh, take a few selfies and 
post that instead but then you always of course do need a tutorial video and feel free to use mine feel free to copy and paste the youtube link into the email that you send out takeaway number three is get your audience excited before you've even ordered them so right now you can head to your instagram and put something up on your story let your audience vote on a poll if they wish for you to have these products so simple question would you guys appreciate diy lashes which you could do at home in 30 minutes you put yes you put no or as i like to do i like to put yes and maybe not for now and then you can actually still gauge how many people still are interested but not all the way interested for every single person that has hit yes, that means that they have said to you that they're interested in this product. Make sure you save all of these people. This way, when you have your products, you can send a DM directly to the people that have hit yes. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that every single person that hit yes will buy your product. It doesn't always translate over into a sale. Some people just want to vote because they just want to feel like they're getting involved and they're helping you in some way and that's okay. You should still send that DM over because the chances are that they will send a message back remembering, hey, yes, I did hit yes. Guys, if you want 40% off, yes, 40% off, I do have a special code that you can use. Let me know how it goes. Do follow me on social media. I really, really wanna know if this video was helpful. Has this helped you make some money? Has this helped you maybe do your own lashes? I really, really want to know. Let me know what else you wanna see as well from this channel because I've got so many ideas, but what do you need help with? What's challenging? What do you want me to share? Is there anything that you kind of wanna see from me? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.